breaking used to be this super difficult task only the real tech savvy would tackle. But nowadays, it's so much easier and totally legal. So if you want to completely customize your device, install apps you don't see in the App Store, and get new system settings that make your life easier, here's how you jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. First, back up your device. Plug it into your computer, launch iTunes, and adjust the settings to back up everything, like photos and contacts. Then right-click your device, select Backup, and let it sync. When that's done, grab your device and go to Settings, General, Reset, and Erase All Content and Settings. When it restarts, go through the activation steps, but set it up as a new device. Okay, now back on your computer, go to the Green Poison website and download the most recent version of AppSynth for your operating system. I'm currently using iOS 5.1.1 on my iPhone, but new versions of AppSynth will be released as Apple updates its iOS. Launch the installer and it'll spend a few minutes extracting files. Then open the new Absinthe folder and launch the app. You'll see this dialog box and when it detects that your phone is plugged in, click jailbreak. This will take a few more minutes as the phone resets itself again while the new software is installed. When Absinthe is done running, your phone is officially jailbroken. But now you'll need to get all your old data back on it so you can use it. To do that, launch iTunes, right-click your device, and select Restore from Backup. Select the appropriate backup, and when you're done, you're good to go. At first, your device might look the same, but now you can find all the extra apps, settings, and tweaks in this new app called Cydia. It's like an underground app store filled with content you could never get otherwise. So with my jailbroken phone, I can create hidden shortcuts from the lock screen, access settings from the notification center, and even get Siri to do things like toggle Wi-Fi. Turn Wi-Fi on. Enabling Wi-Fi. Again, when iOS 6 is released and you want all of its new features, you'll have to jailbreak your device again. But that's a small price to pay for complete control over your gadget. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter and subscribe to my Facebook profile for more tips like this. For CNET, I'm Sharon Backman.